Congressional Republicans attempting to hammer out a tax reform bill that a majority of Congress is willing to pass. Who would win and who would lose under a final compromise? Will the bill do anything to help the people in America who are under the most stress? Congressman Kevin Brady represents Texas. He's the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, which is a big deal in Washington. He joins us now. Mr. Chairman, thanks for coming on. Tucker, thanks for having me. Um, so under this uh, proposed legislation, the White House is saying that corporations will get a tax cut in order to create more jobs and raise wages. Would there be a way to structure the legislation where corporations don't get a tax cut unless they demonstrably raise wages and create jobs? Well, look, um, the key here is people tend to think of, so what are their profits? Does that, does that grow my paycheck? But the other P word that we're actually focused on is productivity. Right. Look, businesses aren't investing. They've been on about a decade-long slide. Uh, they're not investing in new plants, new equipment, software technology. That's what drives productivity. That gives you those bigger paychecks. So we're going all in for growth for businesses. We redesign the code so our local companies can compete and win anywhere in the world. But most importantly, for the first time in history, we unleash business investment by letting them immediately write off from their taxes that new investment in plants or equipment, software and technology. It really drives Main Street jobs but there's in no, a big I mean, way. because businesses are sitting on a huge amount of cash, stock markets at record levels, corporate profits really high, productivity's good. And yet we still have a persistently large number of people not working. Is there any way to tie their benefits to that, to wages and, and jobs? So it, it really does. Investment drives productivity. We're, we've been on a decade-long slide for work or productivity. We used to be one of the best. We've really slid in a big way. That's why paychecks aren't going up. The other thing is we can't compete internationally anymore. We've slid, uh, I think, 31st out of 35 uh, of our major competitors. They've right. just blown by us. So we're losing jobs in research and manufacturing overseas. And the worst thing for your paycheck is to see it go overseas. So this tax plan is all about leapfrogging America, back in that lead pack, more importantly, unleashing all that local business business investment that we just haven't seen for far too long. So some people's taxes are going to go up and you're going to see some people paying like Carter level tax, you know, 55 percent all in, uh, particularly in New York and California. Does that, I mean, the idea of someone paying the majority of his salary to the government, is that is it acceptable? Yeah, so I don't believe they will. So I, I can see, so we've lowered the rates at every level, doubled the standard deduction, brand new family tax credit that more people can use than ever before. And in, in every scenario I run, up at every income level, people see tax relief, including in high tax states like so New York City. So you don't City. see anybody at the end getting his taxes raised? So I, I, don't, I believe every American is going to be better off either with lower taxes or higher paychecks going forward. And in high tax states, because we keep the mortgage deduction, the charitable deduction, the property tax deduction at twice the national so average, McCall, all of that okay. adds, to, in my view, Tucker, to tax relief. I, want the, I certainly want that to be true for sure. But Mr. McConnell the other day said, nobody in the middle class is going to see his taxes go up. And then he walked it back famously and said, well, actually, you know, there may be some people. I mean, that scared people here. Well, that. what I know is this. Um, when you double that standard deduction, lower the rates at every level, uh, create this new family tax credit, it is, boy, that provides relief across the board. And the Joint Committee on Tax said there is income tax relief at every income level. So if that turns out not to be true when the Senate's done with it, are, I mean, do you think the president will sign it? I mean, well, I do think the president will sign this bill, but I'll tell you this as well. So we're getting ready historically to pass tax reform in the House this week. We're Republicans. We like to make improvements at every step. So we're continuing as the Senate moves forward, as we work together for that final bill. I I'm looking to make improvements in tax relief at every level. So we're not even done yet. This step in the House really moves us another big step forward, but, but not to a final bill yet. But your pledge as chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee is that nobody is going to wind up with less money if this passes. In my belief, between these tax cuts and higher paychecks and growth, whether you're that worker on Main Street or that small business on Main Street, you're going to see more in your paycheck. You're going to see more in your pocketbook. All right. Well, I'm, I'm rooting for that, of course. Thanks. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Thanks, Tucker.